What is up guys, I'm going to show you how to get CTGP7 on your Monet 3DS. Now, what you're going to need is obviously a Monet 3DS, and you are also going to need a copy of Mario Kart 7, rather with being digital or cartridge. Let's get started. Now here's some good reasons that you might want CTGP7. Well, it adds custom tracks, like like new maps and stuff. It has its own, like, online multiplayer channel. And it adds new characters. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff that you might want to play with. Once you're on your 3DS, go to Universal Updater. Once we are in Universal Updater, tap the magnifying glass and then enter C T G P. And these two options should pop up here. What you're going to pick is the CTGP7 downloader. And you're just going to download the CIA. And now there's going to be. And it's going to say action required. You're just going to go push that. And it's going to give you a thing saying if you already have it, it's going to overwrite the existing install. So, you should probably only install it if you do not already have it. So, but you can just go, uh, since we don't already have it, you can just go ahead and download it. Now, we're going to go ahead and download the save transfer. And we're I, I'm just going to prefer the 3DS X version. What that does, it, it downloads it to the Homebrew app. So, it only appears in there rather from your home menu. Why would you want it on your home menu anyways? It's not really going to matter. So, I would just recommend downloading the 3DS X version, because it will do the same thing no matter what. Now, we just wait for that to be done downloading. Once both of those are done downloading, you can just go back to your home menu. And close Universal Updater. It's going to say some new software has been added. You can just press OK, and it'll show up here. You just unwrap it. And it'll show up like this. Now, again, you will need a copy of Mario Kart already. So, again, you, this only works on Mario 3DSs. So, if you don't have it, you can literally just go to the 8 shop and then download it from there. And, again, it can be a cartridge or the digital version. It does not matter. We just need Mario Kart 7. Now, we're going to open CTGP7. And just wait for this to happen. And it's going to ask you if you want to download it or start with the download. It's going to say it may take a while, so you're just going to push start. Now, let this pass by. Now, it is going to say it needs 521 files. It's actually not that big. It's like 18 blocks when you go into the system settings and look at the data management. But what I can tell you, though, is the amount of time it takes to download everything. It for When I did it on my 3DS, it took like... Like an hour and 30 minutes, or like two hours. So, um, you want to have your 3DS plugged in into a charger and make sure it's charging. Do not put it into sleep mode and do not cancel the download because if it's put into sleep mode, it stops the download. If it dies, it, off it also stops the download. So, just be sure that your 3DS is plugged in and let it download. And basically, just don't do anything uh, to stop it from downloading, just leave it alone. What you can do is you can just mess around with the stick and D-pad, but other than that, don't be pushing any of the buttons over here, because that could potentially stop the download, and you don't want that. So again, just don't really mess with anything, and just let it download. 2,000 years later. Once the install is finally done, you'll get this pop-up saying that the installation was success, and that you can use it to launch CTGP7. You can push A to continue, scrape will go green from it, and then it blacks out. And it's going to take you to this, and it's just going to check for updates. And it'll bring up all of this. It's just like the normal home menu. But just push B to exit the app. Now once you're back here, you're going to reopen CTGP7. And it's going to give you this screen. Now it's just going to do this. And now you're just going to push... Launch CTGP7. And then you'll get this thing at the top. This is select game to launch. But depending on the type of um, 
thing you have, like, three years of the game or whatever, um, it will tell you, like, it, it gives you an option, but since this is the only option, and we have the digital version in the region in the U.S., we can just go ahead and push launch. The screen will go gray and go black for a minute. And then, this screen will be brought up. It's a loading screen for it. Now, just let it load. You'll get a pop-up on the bottom screen saying that extra save data will be created. So just push OK. And then it'll start creating the extra save data. And you just push OK. And then it'll take you to the home menu, and there's going to be some things that appear here. But, uh, since I've already read through this, I'm just going to skip ahead with it. And uh, you can read it if you want when you're doing it, but I'm just going to skip ahead for myself. So for here, um, uh, nothing really matters. However, I would recommend going to gameplay features, and then turning on worn items with LED and enabling it. Um, because basically when an item that hit you, like a Koopa shell or something, the little, uh, 3DS notification light will, like, start, uh, flashing to tell you. Like, it'll, it starts blinking blue when a blue shell's there, and yellow when lightning is used. Yeah. Once you've read through all that, though, you can just go ahead and exit CTGP7. But, however, when you do exit it, though, it will take you to your Mario Kart 7 game. That is completely normal, though, so you can just go ahead and close that. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what if I want all of my save data for Mario Kart 7 to be put over onto CTGB7 so I don't lose all of it? Well, that was what the uh, CTGB7 tool was for, the transfer one. So, depending on if you downloaded it from, um, like, CIA form, it will appear on your home menu. But if you did it on the, uh, 3DS X file, you're going to launch it from the homebrew launcher. But, so, in this case, since we got it 3DS X, we will, um, launch it from the homebrew. Now, on the bottom screen, or, yeah, you're just gonna scroll down to where it says CTGP7 Save Transfer Tool. And you're going to click that. And the screen will go black for a minute. And then it's going to bring up this menu. That's the Mario Kart 7. That's uh, CTGB7. Now, um, you're not transferring your data, your CTGB7 data to Mario Kart 7. You're going to do it the other way around with this option. You're going to select it. And um, it, will, it will say like what regions and stuff. And, uh, since, uh, I don't, since there, we don't have a game card version, it will say, like, if it's digital and stuff, like, you already, like, it's on the console, not in cartridge, and since it is, in this case, you're just gonna select whatever you're gonna use, um, you can choose to, like, transfer ghosts and stuff, but that's optional, however, you do need to have the, um, transfer main save data box checked, otherwise it won't let you do it, but otherwise, select the let's go button, and it will transfer all the data. And it will ask you if you want to transfer anything else again. You're just going to press no and exit the app. And then it will take you back to the homebrew launcher. And then we can just go ahead and exit it. And then we can go back to CDGB7. It will it'll check for update. Check for updates. We're just going to launch uh, CTGB7 as normal. And you might see some new options here, because I don't think I've seen them in the normal Mario Kart 7 version. But yeah, you're just gonna, and for this case, I'm just gonna select the Grand Prix. Uh, uh, just the speed you want. There's actually going to be more characters. And, uh, I'm just gonna select Mario. 
And, uh, I think they actually, and for this mod, I'm pretty sure they added, like, new, like, stuff for the cart. But I'm not sure about that, though. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, you can just press OK to go on to the next one. Now, it may look normal at first. That is until you scroll over, and there will be so many new tracks. It is so cool. But, um, yes, you have got CGGB7 now. Uh, thank you for watching this video, uh, and goodbye.